Hello my friends! Hello, how are you today? My name is Sunny and welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to uh, continue. If you don't know already, this May, this May, no, this month of May, I'm doing a wardrobe pause. And this is a challenge I'm doing. Thank you to Emma Edwards from The Broke Generation and Jenna Flood from Ironic Minimalist. We're having so much fun and I'm really going to miss all of the gang, the wardrobe pause again when we finish this by the end of the month. We're still on it. It's already been two weeks. Yeah. No, this is week three actually. This has been week three. So yeah, we're about to finish. We're only like one week left. And I have to tell you, I'm enjoying so much. As I promised myself, this week was all about introducing more colors, also trying to play with more layers. On Thursday, we had a styling session with Jenna and I just woke up on Friday so inspired. I wanted to play with a thing that it's what I'm wearing right now, but I'll show you later better. I wanted to play more with layering and I had an idea in mind of wearing like dresses with pants. I wasn't sure how it looked. You can tell me later how it looks but I feel good. I wore it on Friday and it was pretty pretty fun. Yeah, I liked it. So I was telling you this week I've tried to push myself a little bit, try to wear things that I don't normally wear just to see if I really like it or not. So one of the days I wore a dress like a summer dress but it's a bit thicker the fabric so I wore this summer dress with a jumper and it was okay I think that that's not really my style but I tried to wear it another time like with different colors just to see if I really like that style or not and then I've also worn my Bermuda pants that I have from summer and that look was actually pretty fun that was a bit risky for me but it was really fun and then also on Friday I wore what I'm wearing now a, a dress over some jeans that one I liked it also I don't know how I will replicate it because I'm not sure if I have like another dress and pants that match so good and I've tried to incorporate also a few accessories like this hair tie and one of my crochet bags I also wore one day one of the crochet flowers that I did some months ago also so yeah it has been like a, an experimental I would say week and I'm pretty happy for it and yeah you guys don't move because I'm going to show you all the looks for this week Let's start with Monday of the third week. I actually broke my self-promise of wearing color the first day of the week, but it's fine. Then I catch up the rest of the day. So on Monday, I was wearing my favorite gray pants that I wear them to death. And I'm actually thinking that when I finish this challenge, I should try and find similar to these pants so I can give this a break. I don't want them like worn out or whatever from washing them and wearing them. I don't wash them that often but yeah from wearing them I will try to find maybe something this kind of style maybe a bit thicker for winter because I'm not sure how this will do in very cold days that's one of my things that maybe I will be buying after my wardrobe boss then I'm pairing it with this Loewe I'm not sure if it's Loewe or not but haven't had it authenticated but I found it at the thrift store I just love it I have to tell you every time I wear it it's just so nice the material even if it's not re well, real if it's not from the brand or it's a dupe I don't know but it just works for me oh so this was the shirt and to give a bit more of contrasting or give it a bit more fun I wore this thrifted have to tell you today's outfit is all thrifted <laughs> this thrifted vest i really like how it looks like this all open like very effortless look very distressed then i was wearing a blazer oversized blazer although on monday it was pretty warm i didn't wear the blazer all the time this is how it looks so you guys can see and i was wearing my ex nihilo bag which i'm in love with let me just put it properly this is the 
a mini bag in the khaki color it's just so beautiful it's kind of like an olive sage like a dark sage olive yeah khaki color <laughs> i don't know why i keep like giving synonyms but this is the bag and i was just wearing it like it's so cute i was wearing the bag with my lovey loafers it's a spanish brand this was the look and it's just like so easy neutral tones a bit of like a clash of color with the i don't know if this vest is khaki or gray now that i see it next to the back i think it has like a khaki undertone so this was my look for monday of week three of the wardrobe pass this is half of my look for tuesday i styled this summer dress that i was telling you before it's actually a summer dress but i think i could wear it throughout winter with tights because it's kind of like a thick material it's a cotton but it's not very very thin cotton it will suit me also for winter on tuesday i wasn't wearing tights because i didn't need them so i was wearing just black socks and my docks then what i did because i wanted to put a jumper on top and you know guys i like to play with the uh, two colors in the color, uh, the part of the color of the jumper. So what I did was put a white t-shirt on top of this. I know it doesn't work, but let me show you. You have to trust the process. So I tucked in a bit the color of the dress so it wouldn't show. I put on a white t-shirt. Now it just looks like I'm wearing a costume, but wait for it. I wanted to style it with this dress to include and incorporate a bit of color to my wardrobe. This is my chunky trusted sweat, uh, jumper. This was the look that I wanted to achieve. And what I did with all this here, I used the trick of the belt. And the trick of the belt goes as follows. So you put on a belt. <laughs> and then what you do is just take the jumper nicely take it out a little bit you can also do this i've seen it people doing with like putting a sports bra underneath i actually didn't think about that yet yeah, you have to organize it a little bit pull down the dress so it's not like over this is it this is the look so you see a bit of a bit shorter you know what do you guys think it was raining a lot on tuesday so i was wearing my trench coat and also to incorporate one of my me made things that i'm trying to wear more i thought the colors of this crochet bag match perfectly what i'm wearing today so it has pink beige black kind of like a brownish color i thought it matched super good with the jumper and the gingham print in the dress so this was my look for tuesday and i was also wearing my you know umbrella <laughs> which matches the dress that I didn't do it is the only umbrella I've got now that I see it here I actually like it but while I was wearing it I was just like I don't know if this is me or not like I see it in other persons and I'm like yeah I really like her style and I really like how she's wearing the jumper with the dress I wanted to try it now that I've tried it I'm like okay I don't know I have to maybe wear it with another dress and another color jumper just to see if I really like the style or not this is it you guys let me know if you like it let's go to the next one this was my neutral look for Wednesday I actually was wearing my coat all the time so I'm going to show you what I was wearing underneath I was wearing this uh, thrifted vintage Mimu jumper that I found last year and it's so nice to the touch super comfy I wore it a lot last winter and I'm kind of like introducing it this year and I'm wearing these tailored kind of pants that you see me a lot wearing them I was wearing my loafers also and then on top as I was telling you and no I didn't incorporate the colors here but it comes with the accessories so let me show you I was wearing this wool coat because I was telling you it was pretty cold outside then I was wearing this full art that mom brought it with her when she came to Australia and she and I loved it so she just gave it to me I'm actually loving this kind of shawls because they're not as chunky as the scarves 
I really like how they look. And I was wearing a green cap, but my partner just is just wearing it today, so I cannot show you with a green cap. But I've got a green beanie that I think it more or less gives you the same effect. So imagine this is a cap. So I'm wearing it, I was wearing it like this, and I was wearing again the bag that I wore on Monday, the Ex Nihilo khaki bag but instead of wearing it like a parry bag I was just using the strap to wear it cross over this is like an everyday super easy look for winter I think the accessories make it like very cute just imagine this is a cap although also the beanie works the scarf and the handbag yeah I think it's pretty cute On Thursday, I tried to keep it simple, just playing with a bit of like layering. I know layering with a shirt and a vest is the easiest layering, but I like it. I try to include a bit of color with the shirt. I'm not sure if this is considered introducing a bright color, but it's a light blue shirt. I'm going to show you how it looks with the vest that I just love it. This vest has been one of the best things that I've thrifted for this winter. I hope I can find another one, but in a, like a light brown. I think it will match very good with my wardrobe. So I was just wearing the blue shirt with the vest, dark jeans that you see me a lot here, and the loafers. This has been my week of the loafers, but I just wear them so comfortable. And I have realized that I really need to buy black socks because I have a lot of like color fantasy socks, which I'm not really into right now. So I will leave those just at home because they're also like thick ones. And then I was wearing the same coat as I was wearing on Wednesday. And I could have introduced a bit of color with a color handbag, but I didn't think about it when I was leaving home. I just took the first one that I could fit like my contact lenses and all that. This was my look for Thursday. I know it's pretty simple, but this actually, you guys, I feel so comfortable. I feel like empowered with this look. I know it's like super simple, but I really feel myself dressed like this. Yeah, a bit of a boring look for Thursday. <laughs> As I was telling you at the beginning of the video, on Friday, I really pushed myself to the limit. <laughs> so on Thursday, we had this styling masterclass and Jenna was talking about all the layering and different styling, how to mix prints and colors. So this morning of Friday, I woke up so inspired. And you guys, I'm wearing this dress, which I only wear in summer, I don't know why. I paired it with accessories. So I'm wearing this faux pearl leather and I did also a hairdo with a hair tie. Let me show you. Hope you guys can see it. So I did that very feminine, but look what I'm wearing underneath. I'm wearing my jeans. And I think this look, like I've seen it all over my Instagram and Pinterest and I just love it. Just to follow like the feminine touch of the dress, I paired it with the um, ballet flats that I think looks super cute. There it is with the dress and I also styled it with my oversized coat which i wasn't sure which coat to wear but i thought this one was following like the baggy or i don't know oversized style and i wore the crossover bag that has been my favorite this week i wore it like this I think this is a look, I don't know. I don't know if I'm like wearing a costume or what. You guys tell me if this can go like this, but I actually went on the street like this and nobody said anything mean to me. So I guess it works. 
I really like it and I think this is something that I've never worn before maybe when I was younger I wore like a skirt with a pant I'm not sure maybe I think I'm going to recreate it I'm trying to think about other dresses that I have and with which pants can I match them this one's with jeans I know it's pretty easy combination but maybe like a black dress with like those flare burgundy pants that I have I don't know I'm trying to think about this look I'm super happy and proud of myself to putting it together <laughs> On Saturday, I was wearing again uh, the shirt that I wore on Monday and I realized that I need a white shirt. Please, I manifested. I don't know how many times I've said this, but I don't know no, a normal cotton white shirt. I would like to find one, but that's for another video. On Saturday, I challenged myself to style my Bermuda shorts. Bermuda shorts or Bermuda pants, I don't know how you call them. I bought them in summer and I wore them a lot during summer, but I wanted to wear them also now in autumn or winter. And I'm thinking in winter, maybe I would wear it with some stockings. I would like to find maybe like some fun, kind of like lace kind of stockings. I'm not sure, kind of like Chanel or white also. I have it in my mind, but I haven't actually found anything like that. Not this month, obviously, because I'm not looking for anything. And this was my styling of the Bermuda pants. And I have to tell you, although I didn't incorporate any color, this is all like a two-tone kind of outfit. I'm really happy. I'm really happy because it's something that I don't normally wear and getting pieces that I only wear in summer and incorporating them in my winter wardrobe I think it's a very good idea to like expand your wardrobe within the things that you already have I don't know if I'm explaining myself, but I hope so. So this was the styling of the Bermuda pants. I'm wearing this shirt, like I said before, I put on a black belt, the Bermuda pants. Here it is the look. I've styled it with some black socks and loafers. The black socks, I'm wearing them like high, you know, like, like this. And on top of this, I was wearing my trench coat. I could have worn also a leather jacket or a blazer but I thought the trench coat was actually wrapping all the look together. I tried it on with a leather jacket and it was just... I didn't really like the leather jacket cut in here and then the shorts so I thought the trench coat being the same length of the, of the Bermuda short or even like a bit longer, I thought it actually like closed all the outfit together or like pull all the outfit together with my loafers. And I think this is a look, right? You guys tell me, but I'm just in love with this look. And I think with some high boots or also with some tights, as I was saying before, could also be a very nice look coming into winter and i just love like this if you see me like from the hips to the floor it's more of like a tomboy kind of look but then with the silk shirt it makes it a bit more feminine i would say and the trench coat just pulls all the look together i just love it and i feel so comfortable in it like i'm super yeah <laughs> i just love it look for Sunday. So I'm wearing this borrowed jumper from my partner. I actually bought this for him many years ago and it's actually a Nike jumper but I didn't I didn't like the logo of Nike so I put this on top like a Katrina um, uh, skull. And then I wanted to incorporate an accessory so I did this crochet rose 
flower, rose, camellia, whatever you want to call it. it. can be many different flowers. And I'm wearing the wrap skirt that you've seen me before, but I actually have realized how versatile this skirt is and how I can dress it up and dress it down. And I just love it because of that. And then I'm going to show you the shoes that I'm wearing. These are my ballet flats kind of Mary Jane style, although they have the T here. So I'm not sure if they're really Mary Jane or just some ballet flats. I will put them on. This is to let today's look, so I'm trying to do it while I'm filming this. This is the look. I'm wearing a white t-shirt underneath, and then these are the ooh, you must fall. These are the ballet flats, which I think look super cute. And then for jacket, I want to wear my blazer but I actually want to incorporate another thing. So I'm going to wear a leather kind of blazer that I've got. This is the one. I, it was handed down to me from my mom. Does it work? I think it does, right? Is this a look? I'm not really sure about the blue and the red, it's not a combination that I normally do. Actually, I never do. But I thought it looked cute with the shoes. Do we like, I don't know if it's the jacket or the blue. Let me just try it with my blazer. Yeah, I think I prefer it this way. The blazer and the skirt are more like similar colors. So I think these ones just work very good and this is going to be my outfit for sunday maybe i'll change the strap of the flower i'm not really sure about this this is my look for sunday of week three which you guys could see like the whole outfit but you get the idea i've actually changed a little bit and i wanted to show you guys instead of wearing like the kind of like choker thing with the flower i just added a bobby pin here and i put it in the in the blazer and i think it works also and i'm wearing like the two colors here that i really like and yeah that's it i just wanted to update you that i did this change yeah you guys let me know if you prefer the choker or the flower here i think it works also Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already done so, I would really appreciate it. So for next week, my intention is to go a bit more over the top <laughs> and I'm going to try to style things that I don't normally wear and that I haven't worn yet this month. So I will try to pick those pieces. I will try to get some some inspiration from Pinterest or from Instagram and just try to style them this week to see if I really want to keep them in my wardrobe or maybe just like give them another life. So you guys see you in a week for the wardrobe pass challenge ending. Yeah, it's finishing. Oh my gosh. So you guys, hope you have a wonderful week. Wish me luck with my last week of wardrobe pause and see you in my next video. Bye.